In April 2022, the Reserve Bank of India (RBI) launched the Standing Deposit Facility (SDF) as a mechanism to curb inflation by absorbing liquidity. The expert committee to revise and strengthen the monetary policy framework advocated the SDF as a liquidity management tool in January 2014. However, Section 17 of the RBI Act of 1934 was modified in 2018 to allow the RBI to introduce this instrument, which was now brought into action in 2022. The central bank's decision to deploy SDF raises a significant dilemma, though, as the reverse repo rate can also be used to absorb liquidity. Let us start this discussion by explaining what is a SDF and how it is different from reverse repo facility. The standing deposit facility is a collateral free liquidity absorption mechanism implemented with the intention of transferring liquidity out of the commercial banking sector and into the RBI. It enables the RBI to take liquidity deposits from commercial banks without having to compensate them with government securities the sdf is significant because it was created to give the reserve bank the ability to handle unusual circumstances when it must absorb large quantities of liquidity in the past the rbi has experienced issues with liquidity absorption due to events like the global financial crisis and demonetization The SDF allows banks to deposit money with the RBI on an overnight basis. But the RBI has the option, should the need arise, to absorb liquidity for longer tenors under the SDF with proper pricing. The SDF scheme would be open to all participants in the liquidity adjustment facility LAF. Central bank employs reverse repo rate and SDF to remove excess liquidity from the system. In contrast to SDF, reverse repo operations require the RBI to deposit collateral in the form of government assets in order to borrow money from commercial banks. Under the current liquidity system, the Reserve Bank has discretion over liquidity absorption through reverse repos, open market operations, and the cash reserve ratio. SDF on the other hand will allow banks to store surplus liquidity with the reserve bank at their discretion As a result the fixed rate overnight reverse repo is no longer the LAF corridor's flow Since excess liquidity in the market is a key factor in deciding policy rates the RBI established this instrument to absorb it You must be aware that the rates on your savings and loans will vary as a result of the change in policy rates. One must thus pay close attention to the SDF rate in addition to the other rates.